What is game theory and why do computer scientists care about it? Many people, when they hear the term game theory in the context of computer science, they might come to the conclusion that this must be related to developing computer games. But this is not true. Game theory is a formal study of interactions between different entities in strategic settings. And so these entities might be individual people, or they might be groups of people, companies, they could be countries, governments of countries, that kind of thing. And in game theory, an entity is uh, usually called a player. And what game theory tries to do, it tries to model that the success of one of those players may not only depend on the action of that player, it may also depend on the action of all the other players. So, for example, if you have a stock market, you could view this as sort of a game. If I want to buy some stock at a certain time for a certain price, I can make that decision, but somebody else also has to be willing to sell me that stock for that price at that time. If I can't find anybody who's willing to sell the stock to me for that price, then I cannot buy it. So whether I'm successful or not depends not just on what I want to do, but also what the other players want to do. Even more so than the stock market, we can view um, actually the entire economy as sort of a game. In game theory, we always use this word game. Of course, when we hear the word game, we might think it's kind of about something silly, something not very serious, but uh, that's not the case. It's just the convention that this word is used. We understand that the economy, for example, is very important for people's lives and the word game is not supposed to minimize that. In fact, there are other areas of game theory that are arguably even more serious. So, for example, uh, especially during the Cold War and so on, there were think tanks that were using game theory ideas to advise the US government about the nuclear weapons program. Okay, but what does game theory have to do with computer science? In the early days of computing, a computer was a single big machine in a room. One or more people would program that computer to carry out some specific calculations. But later, computers started to be connected to one another. And today we have things like the Internet. But the computers that are connected to the Internet are, of course, no longer controlled by a central authority. Each computer and the user of that computer is an individual entity. And scientists were trying to model and understand what kind of dynamics can arise in such a decentralized communication and computing system. How can we build such a system? How can we understand such a system? And how can we improve such a system? For this reason, concepts from game theory started to be of interest to computer scientists. And algorithmic game theory is concerned with two things. The first is to use techniques from game theory to model and study certain aspects of computing, particular things where like several computers are connected to one another and interact in some way. And the second is to contribute back to game theory itself by offering an algorithmic perspective to game theoretic questions. Throughout these videos we will see examples of both of those things. So contributions of game theory to computer science, using game theory to study computing systems on one hand, but also using insights from computer science and apply them to game theory to learn more about game theory itself.